Again, like with demands, a change in price and a change in what we call a non-price determinant behave differently in terms of our supply curve. If we have a change in price, we say that that is a change in the quantity supplied, and that's just a movement along the supply curve from one point to another. In this example, as we move from P1 to P2, we're just moving to a different point on the same supply curve, namely from Q1 to Q2. On the other hand, when we have a change in a non-price determinant of supply, when we have a change in input prices, when we have a change in technology, change in expectations, change in the number of sellers, rather than getting a change in quantity supplied, we get a change in supply. Again, just as with demand, a change in supply is a shift of the supply curve rather than just a movement from one point to another on the same supply curve. Notice here that we can have an increase in supply which means at every given price we're supplying more than we were before. Or we can have a decrease in supply, which means that at any given price we're supplying less than we were before. You could also think of these as changes in the required price to achieve a given level of output. When we have an increase in supply, it takes a lower price than it did before, to maintain a particular quantity of output. And when we have a decrease in supply, it takes a higher price than it did before in order to maintain a particular level of output. Even though we can technically think about these shifts as either horizontal or vertical shifts, and sometimes it's helpful to think about the vertical distance as opposed to the horizontal distance, just for the sake of consistency, we try as much as possible to refer to an increase in supply as a shift to the right of the supply curve and a decrease in supply is a shift to the left of the supply curve. Let's summarize what we said earlier. You can see here that we get an increase in supply when we have a decrease in our input prices, when we have an increase in technology, or when the number of sellers in our market increases, and we get a decrease in supply when our input prices go up, when our technology decreases, or when the number of sellers in the market decreases.